flooding in the low country. Experts say that it's been impacting the whole holy city at a much faster rate in recent years. And tonight, city leaders sat down to try and figure out a solution. News News' Danielle Seda tells us what kind of flooding we could be expecting 50 years down the road and what could be done about it. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Charleston has been seeing a lot more frequent flooding over the last few years. And to help prepare for the next 50 years, city leaders are looking at a number of different plans to help make the city and its people more resilient. In recent years, Charleston has seen flooding become more of a common occurrence on the peninsula. 69 days last year in 2019, uh, saw a high tide over seven feet. Over the past 100 years, scientists have seen more than a foot of sea level rise in the Holy City. Half of that has occurred in the last 20 years. So the rate of increase has uh, been has quadrupled in the last 20 years. But according to experts like Matthew Fountain, the city's director of stormwater management, there could be more flooding down the road due to the rise in sea level. We are looking at about a two to three foot range over the next 50 years. The city and scientists are getting to work now to plot and plan a number of projects. Some of them are, are conveyance improvements where we're looking at larger pipes, larger open ditch systems, trying to move the water out. Tunnels, which are looking at collecting that water, bringing it to a pump station and pumping it out into a river system. Um, we did look at a few storage projects where you're basically trying to hold the water in place. Uh, and then we, we did discuss some kind of general program approaches. Some of which have already been in place. So now the next step is completing all of them. And Fountain tells me the time to act is now. A sea level rise is important to consider in that most of the things we're building, whether it's um, residential, commercial, institutional properties, or stormwater projects, we would like to continue to function uh, 50 years from now. And they're hoping one day these plans will make a far greater impact against the flooding that we face every year. In downtown Charleston, Danielle Seda, count on two.